Hello to my long lost people. I've made this video for you. I miss you. Hopefully we can be together soon. But until then, I've made this video for you to do whenever you can. All right, let's go. I'm not real sure where I'm supposed to be looking on this camera, but thankfully I'm gonna be far away from it. All right, let's go. All right, let's stand. To the very back of our mat, arms down the center side. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, reach down. Really think about lifting up from those arches, up through the knees, up through the sit bones. Reach, reaching the crown of the head up to the sky. And then exhale, reaching it back down. And again, start from your feet all the way through the arches, up through the kneecaps, through the sit bones, up through the belly button. Reach. And then exhale back down. One more. Inhale, lift. Hold it up at the top, and then exhale, dive forward. You're trying to reach forward, rounding the spine, drawing the belly button back, and hanging heavy at the bottom. You're reaching forward, not drawing your hands back towards your feet, reaching forward, hanging the head. If you're really um, tight, bend your knees slightly. Inhale, exhale, start from the pelvis, curl and roll the spine back up. Really tucking the pelvis under, opening up from the hips, and rounding up. And again, inhale. Exhale, dive forward. Really pulling your um, abs up from the back. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, curl the pelvis, and round the spine back up. And again, inhale. Exhale, dive forward. We're gonna hold down, hanging, relaxing the neck, relaxing the shoulders, picking your belly button up and away from the floor. Big breath in and out. And again, in and out. One more, finding that nice stretch and that release in the neck and the shoulders. Breathe into those ribs and then exhale. Take a big breath in now. Exhale, walk out to plank. Wrist right underneath the shoulders, not locking the elbows out, pulling up from that first rib, which is right at the base of your neck back here. Lengthening out, pushing the chest up, drawing the belly button back. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Really pressing the feet down, engaging the quads, drawing up from the sit bones, pulling the belly button in. Inhale. On this one, exhale, press back for down dog, releasing the heels to the floor, pushing your butt up to the sky. Inhale here, exhale, shift forward, pushing the floor away from those arms, lifting the chest away from the floor, abs are drawing up, feet are pressing down, inhale, exhale, push back, releasing the heels to the floor, inhale, exhale, shift forward, inhale, exhale, shift back. Hold here, sink your heels down, and then exhale, or inhale, lift them up. Exhale, release your heels down towards the floor. We're not pressing our chest necessarily through our, towards our thighs. We're trying to keep it in line, ears in line with our um, arms and pushing your butt up to the sky. Awesome, release the heels to the floor and lift your heels high. One more, release them to the floor and lift them high. Now, release the heels to the floor. We'll lift the right leg up. Keep your hips nice and square. And now pull that knee to your elbow. And then reach it back up, inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow, right elbow. So same elbow as the leg. And pull it in. And back, two more. Push. And back, last one. Push. And back, lower the leg. Take a big, walk your feet out the width of your sit bones. Big breath in, exhale, walk your hands to your feet, hang heavy. 
and round up. Roll your wrist out. Inhale, lift those arms up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, exhale, walk out to your plank. Inhale here, exhale, push back for your down dog. Well, inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, bring it to your left elbow. Push it back up. And exhale. And push it back. Make sure you're not locking out your elbows. You're pushing up from that base of your neck. You're, it's really your first rib, but you're not hanging your head down. And reach. One more. Push. And reach. Lower the leg down. Take a big breath in. Exhale, shift forward for plank. Inhale here. Exhale. With grace, walk down onto your elbows. Push down with the forearms. Push up. Draw the belly in. Big breath in. Exhale, rotate to side plank. The arm will come parallel with the outside edge of your mat or the short edge of your mat. Stack your feet if you would like. Inhale, lower the hips to the floor. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Two more. Lower the hips. Lift the hips. One more. And lift. Rotate down. With grace, step up. Inhale. Exhale. Walk your hands back to your feet. And hang heavy. Big breath in, exhale, roll up. Inhale, lift those arms. Exhale, dive forward and round down. Inhale, exhale, walk forward. Now, lift your right leg up and lower it down. Keep your hips where they are. And just squeeze through your glute and the hamstring. And lift. And lower, strong arms. Don't sag your head. Right. And left. Now take the right leg up. Bring it to the right thumb. Big breath in. Exhale, step to the front. Hang heavy on an inhale. Exhale, curl. And roll up. Cross your right leg over your left. And spin around. Right, the back of the other, the other side of the back of the mat. Here we go. Inhale up. Exhale, dive forward. Hang heavy. Make sure you have equal weight between both feet. Inhale. Exhale, walk out to your plank. Inhale. With grace, walk down onto your plank, your elbow plank. Inhale. Exhale, roll up to side plank. The forearm goes parallel with the short edge of your mat. Stack your feet if you can. Heads in line with the spine, hand to hip. Inhale, lower the hips to the floor. Exhale, lift them up for five. Four, stay in control. Three, two, and one. Lower down. Bring your knees into clam. Take your top arm up and lower it down. Now heels are in line with sit bones. Press up with the top arm. Take your bottom arm out and under. So now the body is a nice diagonal and we're not dropping the hip down. So reach it. Hand is in front of boob, basically. And then, or peck, whatever you have. And then bend the elbow and push. Inhale. Exhale, push, two, three, draw the belly in, four, five, six, seven, one more, eight, lower the elbow down, take the top arm to your hip, keep dropping the hip to the floor, nice long, really feel like you're engaging the lower, um, oblique to really lift instead of pressing just from the legs to lift your hips up. So body is in, think about it between two walls 
So you're really drawing your ribs in, your belly in, and you're lifting from that side and lowering down. So you're trying not to roll the hips forward. And lift. And lower. Lift those hips up. Squeeze. Two. And three. Exhale. Four. Really squeeze from that bottom half. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Lower it down. Slide the body down onto the floor. Your ears on your shoulder, or your ears on your arm. Arm is in line with your shoulder. Shoulders are stacked. Hips are reaching out so that they're stacked. It's not a matter of like just trying to push them long, but stacking them up. Side body will probably lift up so um, your hips can stay in line. Then push your top leg open like a clam and then down. One. Two, you're really thinking about, you can think about starting from that center, pulling your hands in to lift the leg. Engaging from your butt instead of from the, the knee or the foot. I think we have about four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hold it up. Now take from the in, inside your hip socket, roll the heel up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale. Exhale up. Two. Three, keep pushing away on both sides. So the bottom leg is still pressing away from the floor. The top leg is pushing up. Let's do five more. Five. Four. Abs are in. Three. Two. And one. Straighten the leg out. Lower it down, hip height and sweep the leg forward, inhale, inhale, exhale, push back. Top hand can come as a little tripod to help maintain your um, balance. Inhale, inhale, exhale, push. Two, inhale, inhale, three, exhale, four, five, breathe, six, seven, Eight, nine, last one, ten. Leg is in line with your hip. So now, your side body still up, reach your top leg out as well. Lower the legs and lift. The legs are in line with your hips. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Hold it up. Top leg comes over. Bottom leg lowers and lifts for ten. Nine, eight, seven. Bottom leg's lifting. Six, five. Really squeezing up from the inner thigh, not from the calf. One more, hold it up. And now squeeze and pulse up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, up. Circle the leg for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, other direction. 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, lower it down. Ah, reach it up. Press yourself up and go around to the other side. All right. All right, let's start on our elbow. Reach your hips out. Lengthen out, draw the belly in. Now from the side, not from your hips or your legs, lift up. And down. And lift up, two. You're between two walls. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Take your top arm, reach it up to the sky, and then put it right in front of your chest. Press up on that front leg or the top arm. Bottom arm comes under. Bend the elbow and push. Two. Abs are still in. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. And ten. Take your arm all the way out. Bottom arm all the way out. Top hand can come onto your hip and then just slide your hips so that they're nice and stacked. And then bring your legs together. So you will more than likely have a nice little lift on the side of your body. It's just so that your spine in the line and then push open with that top leg for clam for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, really squeeze up, two, and one, lower it down, release the hill, lift the hill up for ten, nine, I almost want you to lean with the hill, it's still going to be a nice diagonal, and then engage from the glute to lift it up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lower it down halfway. Reach this leg straight out. We're going to do two sniff breaths to come in. Inhale, inhale, exhale, push it back. Top arm can come to a tripod. Inhale, inhale, exhale, push. Really keep your hips where they are. Pull back with that glute. Maybe that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring your leg with, line with your hip, take your top leg up, reach your top leg up and over, bottom leg lowers and lifts for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, one. Pulse up to the top, really squeezing from the inner thigh for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it up and circle the leg. The biggest thing when we're doing these is that you're not lifting from your calf. A lot of times I see that. Make it from your inner thigh. And then other direction for 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Lower it down. Straighten both legs out. Rotate on top onto your stomach. I'm gonna inch forward, so I'm in the middle of my mat. Stack your hands on top of one another. Better yet, let's bring our hand, our elbows towards our sides, and then elbows are down. Head is down, straight down. If you have a bad back, toes are to the corners of your mat. If not, legs can be aligned with the hip sockets. Other way. Now, tilt the tailbone instead of lifting up to your to the sky, tilt it to the heels. So not to the floor, but just to your heels. Head straight down. Now think about wide back. Inhale, just lift the chest away from the floor. And then really try to reach your heart forward. We're trying to keep our head in line with our spine. And then inhale to lower. And inhale, lift. If you cocked it up, it wouldn't be the worst thing since we're always head forward or 
Well, we're always head forward, so if we lift it, you know, I'll maybe do the end of the world. And lower back down. Keep your feet down. If you're not, if you're lifting your feet up, it's usually because you're engaging from your lower back. And I want you to be lifting from your mid back and upper. One more, inhale, lift. And then lower. Slide your hands under your shoulders, elbows will lift. Reach the toes long, tilt the tailbone towards your heels, abs draw up. Now, we're gonna keep, think about lifting as long as you can without your arms. Keep lifting. And then inhale, lift the rest of the way up. Your butt's engaged. Inhale, pull your chest forward, elbows reach back, and try to lower down one vertebra at a time. Sorry, I'm trying not to, it's pushing gas out of my, out of my mouth. And lift. And then pull your elbows back. Lengthen out. And lower down. And again, inhale. Keep your wide back. So we're not shrugging my shoulders up or pulling it back wide. And then bend and come in. One more. Inhale. And then exhale back down. Let's shift in for our little child's pose. Hanging back towards our heels, reaching those arms forward. Big breath in and out. Very good, and then let's sit up onto our knees. Now, I want you to feel like you've been engaging your glutes and your hamstrings. Your hips are nice and long and open. Your chest is up and your chest is up and your arms are in. I guess I shouldn't say chest is up because you're not lifting it, you're just keeping it, you know, we're not sagging down. So here we go. Tops of the feet are pressing, abs are in. Now you're coming from the knees, not from the chest, so inhale, hinge back. Exhale, hinge forward. You're aware that if your knees are bothering you, maybe opt out of this. And then exhale, back up. Inhale, back. Exhale, in. Inhale, back and hold. Abs in. Float your arms up in front of your chest. Then up to your ears. Bring your arms in front of your chest. Reach your arms down by your hips and then lift back up. Inhale, back. Exhale, arms in front of your chest. Inhale, arms above your head. Exhale, arms in front of your chest. Inhale, arms down. Exhale, back up. Inhale, back. Exhale, up. Inhale, over. Exhale, down. Inhale, down. And back up. We have one more. Yay! Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale down, inhale down, exhale up. Nice, take your right leg forward. Hands beside your, your feet, your foot, and flex your back foot into your mat and lift up. If this is not a good position for you, shift the top way forward, the, bottom, the back leg back. Pull the shin forward, pull the heel back. Think about engaging your back muscles to not round and hang, but lift. Take a big breath in, exhale, press that right leg straight. Try to lower your chest towards your thigh, and then come back forward. And again, push. And forward. Exhale, push. And forward, step your hands down, push your right foot back, left foot forward. Or you can come back onto your knees to get in that position. Whatever's best for you. But Flex your back foot, lift it up. Shift, or like think about pushing forward from the shin and pushing, pulling heel back from that right heel. Inhale here, exhale, push the left leg straight. Your hips are square still, so try not to open up from the hip here. And then bend back in and push up. Chest is trying to not be too rounded and push. And down. One more push. And down. Step your left foot back with your right foot. Lower your knees down. And relax back into a nice child's pose. All right, come onto your knees, take your right.
right leg forward, left foot back. You are in a 90 degree angle. If this isn't great for your knees, you know you can come into the wide deadlift. So hip, legs in line with the hips, push your butt back and lift the arms here and down. Just try to maintain the lower abs are in. Otherwise, let's go back into our nice lunge position. Right leg forward, left leg back. If your hands can be on your hips or out to a T. I'm gonna get with the hands on the hips. Push up and down for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lower down on one and hold and pulse down for 10. Nine, chest is up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Press it all the way up, lower the chest towards the thigh, lower the knee, and then let's switch. Left leg forward. Hips are square, flex your back foot into your mat, push yourself up. And down. And up, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, hold it at ten, pulse down for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, press it up. Fold in half. Ooh, that's starting to burn. Out of here. I'm shutting. All right, slightly bend into that front knee. Let's rotate to center here. If center's not facing me, just switch your legs. Then lower your chest to the floor. Your legs are much wider than your shoulders at this point. And then roll up. Cock your heels in so you're in that external rotation that's best for your hip. We're not working for it. It's just kind of where it wants to be. Losing my balance here, ladies. All right, here we go. Inhale down, exhale up. Again, if this one doesn't work for your legs, walk your feet in, do deadlifts, or let's do some calf raises, okay? Work sure, make sure you're working through both feet equally. We're gonna do two more, lower and lifts. This time lower down and hold. We're gonna pulse down here for 10, nine. It's a pulse, but it's not fast. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Push it all the way up. That felt good. And then lower back down. This time we're gonna lift our heels and lower. Think about being as tall as you're gonna be. We're not lifting up from the chest. We're not lifting the whole body. We're just lifting those heels. One more. Lower the heels, push yourself up. Very good. Let's walk our feet in. Awesome. Turn. And let's have a seat in the middle of your mat. Feet straight out in front of you. Reach those own arms forward. Long sit. Flex your toes. Big breath in. Exhale. Dive forward. Hands won't come to feet. You're just reaching. Big breath in. Exhale. Sit down on your sit bones. Draw the belly button in. Restack the spine. Lengthen out from the crown of the head. Big breath. Exhale, curl from the pelvis. Reach your feet forward and roll down. And inhale, paint the sky. Exhale, nod. Roll up. Reach for those feet. Reach past them. Sit down to your sit bones and sit back up. Inhale. Exhale, curl the pelvis around the spine under. 
around the pelvis center to round the spine down and up and over. Inhale, paint the sky. Exhale, nod and round up. Reach for those feet. And then restack. Inhale. Exhale, curl and roll down. Rolling down. Very good. And then arms down beside your sides. Bend your knees in line with your sit bones. And relax. Mm. Now, heels in line with your sit bones. Big breath. Exhale, curl and roll up to bridge. Up to the top. Inhale. Exhale, soften and roll back down. Really tuck your pelvis under. Draw the belly button in and roll down. Inhale. Exhale, curl and roll up. Rolling all the way to the top. Collar bone is soften. Inhale. Really engaging from the glutes. Roll the spine down. I feel like I'm falling off my mat. I'm going to scoot forward. Inhale. Exhale, curl and roll up. Big breath. Exhale, soft and come back down. Big breath. Exhale, curl. Really be thoughtful that you're coming up through the center of your spine. Try not to shift left or right. When you're at the top, the hips are stacked, or level, I should say, and reach your right leg up to the sky. Flex your foot, pulse the pelvis here for five, four, three, two, and one. Place the foot down. Lift the left leg up. Flex the foot, pulse the hips for five, four, three, two, one. Place the foot down. Take a big breath in. Exhale, soften up the chest and roll down. And again, inhale. Exhale, curl and roll up. Reach your knees. Hips are stacked. Right leg comes into tabletop. Reach the leg up. Flex the foot. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift the leg. Kick it up for two, three, four. Last one, and five. Place the foot down. Lift the hips up that inch you lost. Lift the left leg up. Flex the foot. Inhale, lower. And lift, really pressing down with that right leg. Two, three, four, last one, five. Place the foot down. Take a big breath in. Exhale, soften the chest and roll the spine down. You're finding length. Okay, find that pelvis in neutral. Neutral is where when your heels of your hands are on your hip bones and fingertips on your pelvis, and your legs were straight, you curl up and your feet are, your hands are flat. So once they're there, check in, make sure you know how your back feels that way. And bend your knees. Your pelvis will slightly pull towards you, but for the most part, your back should be the same. We want to work in a neutral place. If it doesn't work out because your back starts to bother you, push your back down to the floor. So now, let's get started with abs. Okay. We're going to take your right leg into tabletop. I want you to draw the belly button back. Start to just lift the left heel. I don't want you to lift up yet. And I want you to think about lifting it from your abs. So try to anticipate the lift. You'll feel your abs fire and then lift the leg. And then inhale, tap the right toe. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, tap the left toe. Draw the belly button back, lift the left. Inhale, tap the right. And then the left. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale one more each side. Very good. So now hold it up. Lift those arms. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Curl up. Pull the right knee into your chest. Left leg out to 45. Or if you'd like to advance it, pull the knee right above the hip. Arms down the side of your sides. Big breath. Exhale to switch. Inhale, reach the toes long. Exhale, switch. Inhale. Exhale. If your hip is clicking, check to make sure you're in neutral. Three, two, one more. Now, hands behind your head. Rotate up to the bent knee and switch. 
in and out. Exhale, switch, and switch. Three, four, last one, five. Rotate back to center, straighten up that leg. Float the arms down beside your sides, inhale. Exhale, switch, legs are straight, and switch. Energy through them, they're not bending, they're not sagging, they're long and strong. Switch, switch, switch. Inhale, and exhale, one more to each side. Inhale, and exhale, pull the knees in, and lower down. Rock left or right. All right, bring your legs back to tabletop. Arms float to the sky. Take a big breath in. As you curl up, you're gonna reach the legs to 45. So inhale, exhale, curl up. Legs reach to 45. Open and close the legs quickly. Bend the knees and lower. You're only opening your legs up. Curl up, reach the legs up. Open, close, bend and lower. And curl up, reach the legs out. Open, close, just the width of your mat. Bend and lower. Exhale, reach. Open, close, bend and lower. Last one. Curl and reach. Open, close, bend and lower. Nice. Bring your legs down for a second. Okay, now take your right leg back to tabletop. Left leg back to tabletop. Arms up. Big breath in. Exhale, just curl the head, neck, and shoulders up. Hands come to the sides of your thighs. Pretend like there's an egg behind your back. You don't want to smash it on the upper back. And think about even around the butt. You just don't want to drop your back. Okay, here we go. Inhale, reach your arms and legs out. Exhale, pull them in. Inhale, reach. Exhale in. Two. Three, four, last one, five. Lift the legs, lower the chest. Externally rotate, heels together, toes apart. Inhale, open the legs, exhale, crisscross. Inhale, open, exhale, crisscross. Really think about coming from the inner thigh and not from the feet. But I want energy through those feet. So you're trying to scrape the toes across the walls and the ceilings. One more. And up. Very good. Bend your knees into your chest. Cross your right leg over left knee. Pull the knee into your chest. Really pulling that left leg in. And then switch. Pulling the right leg in. Breathing with every exhale, try to pull in maybe a little bit more. That's good. All right, bring your legs together, roll up, and come in for your straddle sit. Reach your legs out, pull the hips forward. First, just take your hands behind your hips. Try to roll your try to roll your pelvis into neutral and sit up tall. And now release your arms out to a T. Take a big breath in. Exhale, lift that left arm up and over. And you're coming over to the right foot. I have flex toes. I know if you're maybe not used to that, but flex to try to get a more of a stretch. Take your left hand onto, or your right hand onto your left rib. Big breath into that rib. And exhale to release. And again, big breath. Exhale to release. And then come back up. Big breath in. Exhale over. Hold it for a second. Take that hand, the bottom hand, onto that top rib. Inhale, breathe into that hand. Exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. Float the arms up. Get hands in front of you. Walk your hands forward. Try to roll your knees up to the sky.
breathing, walking it back, bring the soles of your feet together. Big breath in, exhale, walk down, or come down. Walk your hands forward. I feel like I get more of a stretch when I do this. Release the stretch, like allow the legs to just relax downward. Breathing with every exhale, maybe with every inhale, try to walk forward. With every exhale, try to relax down. And then walk it back up. Straighten your legs in front of you. Long sit position. Big breath in, exhale, reach for those feet. It might fall short, that's okay. Just reach as far as you can. Hands to the floor, flex your toes up to the sky. Relax your neck. Exhale, relax. Inhale, try to stretch more. Exhale, try to release and do the stretch. Inhale to try to come forward more. Exhale to release. And then release back. Very good. Big breath in. Reach those arms in front of your chest. Curl your pelvic center. Round down. Real. Rotate your palms up. Release your legs. Close your eyes. And take three big cleansing breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just kind of melt down, relax. One more big breath in and out. Nice work. Okay, good job. It's great to see you guys via video, but um, I'll see you next time I make one. Have a good day. Bye, girls. Oh, and boys.